Hello there everyone, today we'll be going through my top 10 tips for finishing the current deep sea and any future events that are going on in Dragomania Legends. So, tip one is you should open up this web page. It is a link to the Dragomania Legends wiki and it has tiers and guides on the current event and it shows you estimated cooldowns and everything like that so you can plan ahead and actually make sure you know what is going on in some of the later tiers. So that is linked in the description of the video and in the comment section. So tip number two, you should not be breeding for the Dragon of the Week or the Dragon of the Month during these events. The reason being that some of the dragons that you can breed can have 16 hour, 18 hour breeding timers and then you have to wait all of that time for the egg to hatch if you come across a tier that requires you to breed dragons. So it's just a good idea not to do it. So for tip number three, it's keep your hatchery open. So this is extremely important because if you have a full hatchery, for example, during tier two, you're not going to be able to put any eggs into the hatchery and you're going to have to wait all of that time just be to be able to hatch some fire dragons. And that is going to put you very far behind during the event. So for tip number four, it is use fire dragons for literally everything during these events so when you're feeding dragons leveling up dragons or hatching dragons during certain tiers fire dragons are your best bet because you can just buy them in the shop for like a hundred gold and they only have a 30 second hatching timer so tip number five use basic dragons to finish the breed elemental hybrids tier so by this i mean you should probably be using a fire plus wind dragon to do pretty much the entire tier the reason being that it has such a short breeding time and hatching time that you'll be able to do multiple of these very very quickly so tip number six do not collect gold unless you are doing it for one of the event tiers so the reason for this is that quite a few of the collect gold tiers are very very long and if you're constantly collecting gold then you're probably going to have to wait for all of your habitats to refill and honestly that is not going to help you during your event progress so tip number seven use spiky cherries for your farms so the reason i say this is because both myself and people i know have accidentally put two day food into their farms before and obviously having to wait two days just to collect some food is not very helpful during an event so make sure you're just using spiky cherries and be very vigilant while the event is going on so tip number eight you should be using a timer and the reason for this is that especially on some of the later tiers it is going to be very difficult to keep track of what you're actually doing so if you need a timer then all that you have to do is go onto google and just search timer and then if you press enter it lets you input any time so if you use the table as well that is on the dml wiki then you'll be able to check how long the item pool refill is and then set your timer to that and then you'll be able to keep track very very easily of when the next pool is actually finished so tip number nine do not assume that you have a lot of time left. So most players should have finished tiers one, two, and three by day one of the event. And if you get to say day six and you're like, oh, I'm on tier six of the event, so I should be really good to go. Well, if you are on tier six by day six, you are screwed because tier eight, nine and ten combined usually take about six days of the event to finish or five to six days so you probably need to be on tier eight by at least day four is what you're going to be looking at if you're behind that your chances of finishing are very slim and then finally number 10 be realistic so unfortunately some of these events do tend to cater more to people that have more time in their day but same goes with any game but different lifestyles how busy you are at the time and everything like that could make it so finishing the event is impossible for you but 
However, that doesn't mean that the event is impossible for everyone, because technically anybody should be able to finish the event with at least a day extra, according to the calculations on the wiki and whatnot. But I am sick of people going, oh, this these events are paid to win, oh, a greedy loft, oh, you have to pay gems to finish this event, oh, game loft sucks, oh my god, you are so stupid. Stop being an obnoxious git, in all honesty, because you are literally undermining any singular person that has ever finished an event without having to spend gems, and you're just denying the fact that they've ever done it. It's like, oh, I got the chemistry dragon and I didn't even pay a single gem. Yeah, right, these games are all paid to win, you all suck. Yeah, well, if you're going to be like that, then genuinely you don't deserve to finish an event anyway. And if you've ever done that, you really should be ashamed of yourself, in all honesty. Just celebrate when people actually do something that you're not able to. Well, I guess it's kind of turned into more of a life advice at the end of the video, but I think you get what I'm trying to say. But hopefully if you take all of those things into account and make sure you have the DML wiki page open with all of the tiers, it is just so useful, I can't stress it enough. But I'm sorry if the quality is a little bit different, I just did this in a bathroom because it's the only place that I could record this. I know it's a little bit weird, but just follow all of those tips or guides, whatever you want to call them, and you should be able to finish the event, no problem, unless your lifestyle just doesn't cater around the events. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope this helps you finish the event.